This is Marvel Universe Build a Figure Collection Return of the Marvel Legends Arnim Zola series Marvel's Wrecking Crew featuring the Thunderball variant. The figure is part of the second wave of the 2012 uh, Marvel Legends figures and he comes with Arnim Zola's head and remote control device, whatever. So very, very cool. He is one of four figures that form the Marvel's Wrecking Crew. And here is the other variant. This is the Pile Driver variant. And both these figures are very, very nice. Um, and a lot of collectors seem to be picking up these figures mainly because of the value for money proposition that they come with. And it's just a massive, massive figure. Um, which we'll get to in a little while. Have a quick look at the packaging once again. Oh, excuse me. They do this. Oh, if you've already forgotten what it looks like, here you go. And the two variants. They don't actually give the names of the wrecking crew, so if you're clueless as to who they are, you probably would not pick them up. Here's the rest of the assortment. Madam Mask as the variant of uh, this particular figure, and the Future Foundation Spider-Man as the. Um, variant for this figure and the unmasked version Dakin version uh, for Dark Wolverine so anyway on to the figures again very very nice uh, I've already posted a review on this one on TechSushi I've sent it on TechSushi it's posted there if you want to check it out uh, this one I think is the more sought after between the two but now that has res announced they will be completing the uh, quartet of the Marvel's Wrecking Crew with the Wrecker and um, what's his name? Bulldozer, the orange guy. Um, this guy is going to be sought after as well. Let's just hope Marvel does not, uh, Hasbro does not cancel on those figures. So, very, very nice. Both figures come with very, very huge balls uh, of doom. <laughs> like, uh, it's something that it's not made of it's made of very solid light plastic they can't go swinging their balls around um, but um, it, they look nice as display pieces articulation for both figures is exactly the same uh, the only problem I have with the articulation is that the ankle rocker joints are negligible when posing them with dynamic poses as well as this toe articulation which is very flimsy in my flimsy in my opinion because it just goes like that it doesn't even go all the way up and rocker joints just, just go like that so kind of crazy same belt uh, head sculpts are different I would actually go for this one more than this one I actually like this one a lot better than this one it's just that you know you got to pick up both now because you want to complete the team pain apps this guy has better pain apps um, mainly because um, he doesn't use any white paint. Hasbro has been having trouble with the white paint apps for their figures, but this one, this one looks pretty cool. Little bit of issues here and there, uh, but other than that, very nice. Uh, head sculpt is nice. Uh, the paints, on, paint apps on the head, it's very nice. So all in all, a good pickup. I mean, if you're not interested in, in the Arnim Zola build figure and you just need a couple of, of figures from this wave, the, these are the two figures you want to pick up. I mean, if you, even if you don't like them, even if you don't read a lot of Thor or Avengers uh, comic books, it, they're nice uh, shelf pieces. And just the sheer amount of plastic these two uh, the figures have is really worth the money you pay for. So there you go, folks. I hope you've enjoyed this video review. Click the thumbs up icon if you did. Follow me on Twitter peak and instagram the links are posted at the bottom check out my videos on youtube on fx france and chefatron as well as check out the awesome videos on tech sushi on youtube this has been the marvel universe return of the marvel legends marvel's wrecking crew featuring thunderball thanks for watching